In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a pattern and place it along a path. Um, someone in the Facebook group had asked um, if I could make a video on how to do this. So what she had was um, a series of rectangles. So I went ahead and drawn one. Um, and it's quite small. It's only um, 30 pixels wide. I'm going to go ahead and make that 20. I'm going to control Z out of that and lock this lock first and then do 20. So it keeps the rectangular portions. And then I'm going to hold control and hit D one, two, three, four more times. And I'll hold control and move this over so that it's in a straight line. I'll open my um, align and distribute by this button right here. And then mine was hidden over here. That's why I clicked over here. But if yours is not hidden over here on the side, then you'll need to click this or go to, um, uh, where is it? Here it is, align and distribute under object. Okay, I, I use these, you guys know that. Um, so then I'm gonna select all of these and I'm going to distribute them, the gaps even, horizontally okay and that's too far apart because she had all of them touching so I'll move this one in and I'll try it again um, I know there's probably an easier way to do this but that's just the way I do it okay so now they're all touching now I am going to grab each one and turn it a different color um, blue and purple and then I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to group them with this button here or object group. Okay, now it's grouped. All right, now I'm going to grab the Bezier pen and I'm going to click and drag and click and drag. And when I'm done, I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to go to my um, node editing tool right here and I'm going to change this a little bit try to get it a little more curvy a little more better looking there okay now i'm going to open fill and stroke and i'm going to just change this to one pixel i just don't like how thick it is okay um now i'm going to go ahead and grab this group here and I'm going to raise that to the top uh, with this button right here. Raise selection to top. Okay, then I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to select my path here. And then I'm going to go to extensions, generate from path, pattern along path. I'm going to click on that and this box is going to come up. All right. I want repeated stretched snake space between copies minus 1.5 and then the other two fields will be zero and the tangible offset will be unchecked both of those and then I will hit apply and close that out and here is my pattern along my path I can move that I can delete my path and um, because they're rectangles and I had them overlapped a little bit, you can see that. So let me control Z out. Let me get back to where these are. Um, let me turn my snapping on. So I have this button on. I have this button on. I have snapped paths, snap cuss nodes, including regular corners. So if I grab this corner and I move it over here, it's going to snap to that corner. So then they won't be overlapped. I was just trying to be in a hurry to show you. Um, so now I will change this color again to blue and this one to purple. Select them all, group them, 
and hmm, draw another path. <laughs> and I'll adjust it a little bit. Oh, a little bit, I said. That was quite a bit, huh? Okay, that's good enough. It's a path, right? Okay, so then I'm going to select my group of objects here, raise them to the top, hold the shift key, select my path, go to extensions, generate from path, pattern along path. When my box comes up, I know I have everything set right, repeated stretched, snake, space between copies, minus 1.5, the next two fields are zero, and the two boxes at the bottom are unchecked and click apply. And that should come out a little bit smoother as you can see. Okay. So that is how you do that. Now I'm going to grab this here and go ahead and delete my um, path. And then now if I select this, you're going to see that it's a group of five. If I ungroup them till it says no groups down here at the bottom, I deselect everything and I click on the red color and pull it away. It's pretty cool for the cutting purposes that it's already on one layer. They all are, okay? So select them all, group them back, go to file, save as, Choose a destination, give it a name, and save it as a plain SVG. And that's how you do pattern along path. And you can use stars, circles, whatever shapes you want. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and join me in my next video.